Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech and I'm back with another video. As you can see, here I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, here's the iPhone 12 Pro, and last but not least, here's the iPhone SE third generation. In this video, I'll be conducting another performance test to see how big of a gap there is in performance with these two latest flagship phones in comparison to Apple's latest 2022 budget iPhone, this SE third generation device. Quick reminder, before jumping into these tests, as you can see, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is equipped with a 5-core GPU A15 chip, the iPhone 12 Pro is housing the A14 chip, while the iPhone SC is housing the A15 chip but with a 4-core GPU. With that being said, let's jump into these tests, starting with Geekbench 5 to test the CPU for each of these devices. And here we go. Now, as we look at these Geekbench scores, here we can see the iPhone 13 Pro Max taking the lead as expected. But interesting enough, the iPhone SE comes in a close second while the iPhone 12 Pro comes in last. All of these devices did phenomenal in the CPU performance tests. If you have the latest budget iPhone SE, you're getting top of the line CPU performance based on these test results. Now moving on to the GPU, for this test, I'll be using 3DMark Wildlife Extreme Stress Test, which will stress these devices for 20 minutes, all the while emulating a synthetic 4K graphical mobile game. And here we go. Now as we look at these GPU scores, again, here we can see the iPhone 13 Pro Max taking the lead in both peak and sustained performance when looking at the best and lowest loop scores. Now to my surprise, unlike the Geekbench test, here we can see the iPhone 12 Pro and the iPhone SE are going toe to toe. When looking at best loop scores, here we can see the iPhone SE scoring better in peak performance, but not by much. Now, when looking at the lowest loop scores, the iPhone 12 Pro actually wins the sustained performance, but again, not by much. Now, for those who watched the Genshin Impact FPS performance test video for the iPhone SE and wondering why this phone is outperforming the iPhone 12 Pro in gaming performance despite these results, we must remember that in-game resolution for this game is set between 800 to 900p, while for the iPhone SE, their display is natively capped at 750p, which therefore automatically reduces in-game resolution to 750p. Anyways, let's move on to this last test, the N22 benchmark. Now, before we jump into this test, I feel I have to remind you that these scores cannot be compared with the Android devices, as even the software developers have acknowledged there being a different coding metric for iOS versus Android devices. Anyways, let's start this test. Now, as expected, here, this iPhone 13 Pro Max takes the crown, scoring over 800K. To my surprise, the iPhone SE comes in second, while the iPhone 12 Pro comes in last. But again, just like in the other tests, the iPhone SE and 12 Pro goes toe-to-toe -to -toe in performance. As you can see, the N22 scores are very close and shows the SE performing better in CPU and slightly behind the iPhone 12 Pro in GPU. Again, we saw this in the last benchmark when testing specifically the GPU performance of both devices. With all of these tests out of the way, it's pretty clear that all of these phones are amazing in performance. The iPhone 13 Pro Max obviously takes the lead, but the iPhone 12 Pro and SE models aren't too far behind. I'm definitely impressed with the performance of the iPhone SE as this budget phone goes toe to toe with the iPhone 12 Pro and GPU performance. Anyways, I hope this video was informative for those curious about the performance differences between these devices. Please stay tuned for more tests like this, stay safe, and see you all next time.